Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. If there is one video in this series that's going to help you the most as a JavaScript developer, it's going to be this one. And yes, pun intended, because we're going to be talking about the this keyword. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So you'll often see the this keyword used inside of functions to refer to various different things. And that's what we're going to be talking about because it doesn't always mean the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating an object and we're going to attach a function to this so then it becomes a method uh, and then we're going to call this method and we're going to uh, see what happens when we output this so let's just go through an example and we'll go on from there and by the end of this you'll have a pretty good solid understanding of this key the, this keyword so we'll say uh, we'll just create an object for me and we'll give it some properties so this is my name and then we'll just say output me and this is going to be a function and all this function is going to do is just going to console log the this keyword that way we can see what the value of this is when we invoke this uh, method so now we need to invoke this so all we have to do is say me dot output me and invoke it using the parentheses and do a refresh and what do we get well we actually get the object itself so you can see it has a property name and then it has a function so the very first way to think of this is if we invoke a function as a method. So when we invoke a function as a method, which just means it's attached to some object, the value of this inside of that function call is going to refer to the object itself. This gives developers the possibility to refer to the object itself inside of a function call. So for example, I could do a console log and I could say this.name. This is just another way to refer to the object. So this is how we can get that value. So we do a refresh and we get Caleb. This is actually the way it works in most other programming languages such as Java and C Sharp. When you use the this keyword in a method, it always refers to the object that the method is being called on. But there's a lot of variations in JavaScript, which is where people get confused. Because in other programming languages, this is the only use of this. But in JavaScript, it depends on how you call the function. So I want to show you guys that in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to take this function, we're going to copy it, and we're going to put it on the outside. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say function output me. And instead of having this function here, we're just going to say output me. Do a refresh. Everything stays exactly the same. And I'm going to get rid of this line here because we're not going to need that anymore. So we created the function on the outside, but it's still attached to this object and we're calling it as a method because it's after the dot on some object. The next way is just to call a function like a normal function. So in that situation, all we would do is say output me and invoke it. Do a refresh. Well, now we get this window object. So what in the world? So when we invoke as a function, we get the window object. Now the next variation is if we call a function that is using strict mode. So if we say output me and we'll just give it, uh, we'll just say output me strict. Then inside of here, just say used strict. And what this will do is this will change the functionality of various JavaScript pieces, basically to help protect you from common flaws of JavaScript. So I'm not sure if we talked about it in this series or not, but that is what it's used for. So everything after here inside of this function is going to be in strict mode. So in this situation, if we console log this, we're actually going to get undefined. Oh, I should probably invoke it. I'll put me strict, do a refresh and we get undefined. So this is invoking a function in strict mode. Now, if we put use strict in this one, just to show you guys for a second, when we do a refresh, well, the first situation, it still refers to the original object. So we only get undefined when we're calling it as a function and not as a method. There's a lot of information to this stuff and it definitely takes some practice to uh, understand all the different ways. The next way is calling a function as a constructor. For this example, we're going to start with a constructor. What is that going to look like exactly? Well, we're gonna create a constructor for people. 
So this constructor can be used to create numerous people and the way you would use it would look like this. So we call the function with the, the new keyword. It has a capital P because that's a convention for constructors. And then we assign it to a variable. In this case, we said person with a lowercase p. Now what we can do is we can console log this and see what the value is. We do a refresh and you can see it's an empty object. So when you call a function as a constructor, the value of this refers to the, the new object that's being created. So that means we can refer to this new object by saying this.name and giving it some value. Then what we can do is we can console log this afterwards and do a refresh and now it has a value. So basically what's happening is we call this function with the new keyword and an empty object is being passed into the implicit this parameter and that is going to refer to the object that's assigned to here. So if we went down here and we console logged the person with the lowercase p, the variable, do a refresh, these are going to be the same exact thing. So those are the four ways that you should know about, about creating uh, functions and how to invoke them and what the values of this will be. So to conclude, we can call a function as a method, we can call it as a function, we can call it as a function in strict mode, and we can call it as a constructor by using the new keyword. Now there are a couple functions you might want to know about. Specifically, if you look up call, apply, and bind, these are some functions that you can use to be a little bit more explicit about what you want the value of this to be. Maybe we'll get into that in the next video. I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.